opened in 1929. Bryant Denny Stadium's expansion makes it one of the largest in the Southeastern Conference. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Rankin has the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He's to the 20. At the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 38-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. run up the middle That's a gain of four. That makes it second and six. it's second down six to go ball on their own 42 intended target and that'll bring up a punting situation yeah they just couldn't connect on a pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Lane is back to receive he punts no he won't going long they'll bring him down to the 21 yard line from the 21 yard line first down the quarterback in the gun with five receivers. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at the 10-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. to the tight end and that ball is incomplete it's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with his play call a lot of times he starts to maybe think about blitzing linebackers this time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up a first down quick throw incomplete one of his receivers intended receiver on the play that makes it and this play is number eight on the drive Goes to the end zone. He brings it down. Touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 62-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 7-0. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Got a receiver and he dropped it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Set up the screen, but dropped. Number 36 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. 
really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. He's taken down at the 48. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Alabama up seven points. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it third and seven. Tight left, tight left. Three down, three down. Mike, four. On the ball. Throws it out there. This one falls to the turf. Incomplete. Burton, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. Makes it to the 22-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 22. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. hit immediately in the backfield. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. He's at midfield. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 45. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Alabama is up by a touchdown. And it's almost picked off. Number 81 is the intended receiver on the throw. From the 45-yard line, second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set. The defense anticipating pass here. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Brooks was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. It's on the ground, and the offense will recover. yard line you like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it first and ten ball on the 17 after a quarter of play we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands Alabama leads it seven nothing And 
and we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Mike four, Mike no. four. One, two, no. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at about the five-yard line. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. Alabama is up a score. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. So he was able to connect with a tight end for the score. Yeah, they did a nice job inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 46-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's out of bounds around the 19-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 18. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. And they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Room around the corner. Brought down at the 22. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Excellent pass defense. You've got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll bring it third and six. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike four, Mike four. Tackle made at the 11. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. Make it two TD catches now. And a great awareness by the quarterback to get in the ball and pick up six points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 21-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 21-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And down he goes. 
around the 34-yard line. Unselfish play by the quarterback as the option gives them a nine-yard gain. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run up the middle. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 44-yard line, first down. Set, lighting. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Aiden's getting the ball here. Aiden's getting the ball. Watch the run. Watch the run. Let's go. Three. Three. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He has some room. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. McClellan takes it at the eight, at the corner, and down he goes at the 27-yard line. Alabama's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability, just a lot of, just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Alabama will have one timeout remaining. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That makes it second and 10. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. What great concentration. He left his feet, made the catch, and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. Quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. From the 29-yard line, second down. Five wide. And a quick throw, brought down around the 10-yard line. Down to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Number 81 was the intended receiver. And this play is number eight on the drive. It's second and ten. Four down, four down. Check there, check there. 81. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. We got a third and six here. Ball on the six. Quickly, touchdown! He's 
thrown four touchdown passes, and we've got another half to go. This passing attack has been unstoppable. The secondary doesn't know what hit him. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Alabama's out of timeouts. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look and try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. That's going to do it for the first half, and they're just trying to keep this thing close. 28 to 7, Crimson Tide. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We save it, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson Oakland stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for him. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about ready to start the second half. We're gonna watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some asher turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 29. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 29. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. What really good call here by the defensive coordinator. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. The blitz didn't get home, but it did free up a defensive lineman to get to the quarterback to come up with that sack. He's tackled at the 37. Return for a gain of six yards. Taking the field again now is the offense. And I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. He's tackled around the 49-yard line.
First and ten. Ball on the 49. Quick toss. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. Spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's taken down at the 19 yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Inside the 10, a huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Touchdown. He's making his presence felt with three catches for scores. He's a matchup nightmare. Too big for defensive backs, too fast for most linebackers, and they're doing a super job of exploiting that with their play call. And he adds the extra point. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. Alabama is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He fires. Oh, what an interception. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Well, it's just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over the sideline for these guys? First and 10. Ball on the 45. Alabama comes to the line in complete control in this game. Gets it out in a hurry. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. This ball is incomplete. Benson was the intended receiver on the play. Man left, man left. That makes it second and ten. Mike four, Mike four. Go! Go! Quick throw, almost intercepted. Benson's the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Throwing right. And he pulls it down. Tackle right around the 30. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. He's at the 20. There's the strike complete. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Benson's intended receiver on the play. That brings up second. Man left, man left. Mike four, Mike four. Here go. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. 
What a valuable asset he's been in this passing attack. That makes it four TD catches. This young man just knows how to be where he needs to be. But today, he's taken that to a different level. And they won't get the two. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 40. The Blue Raiders have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going here. Uh, right now... They just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Pressured and brought down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 35. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 48. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. That brings up fourth and three. He's taken down at the 23. into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync and really the timing and execution is flawless. I'll bring up second and 11. And we reach the end of three and this game is all but decided. Alabama's running away with it. Alabama in control. Roger, Roger. Mike four, Mike four. Let's go. Right down. Two and eight. Mind his man, and they take him down immediately. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. He's to the 40, catches it, and down he goes at the 47. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. They 
it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. In the open and they make the stop around the 22 yard line Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here first down 10 to go ball on the 22 yard line he unloads it and it falls incomplete that would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that Touchdown. And they're going for two here. I guess they just want to rub it in. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Alabama with a commanding lead. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's hit and taken down. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. That pass led him just a little bit too far, but still great effort. That makes it second. time brought down around the 48 yard line that's good for a gain of 11 yards from their own 48 yard line first down alabama will take a timeout that's their second of the half Second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Ready. Check, check. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. He's hit and got away. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Can these guys do anything right? I mean, they're already getting blown out. And now another interception? This is just one of those days. From the 41 yard line. It's first down. Four down, four down. Here we go. Watch seven. Black eight. Watch seven. Watch seven. Mark eight. Run, 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 run. He gets to about the 31 yard line. yard line first down and he's 
tackle after positive yardage. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Tackles him hard at the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the seven. Gain of three yards. That makes it second and six. Alabama's out of timeout. They're at the seven. It's second down. Just over a minute left. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Touchdown. Clock keeper just keep it moving for Kirk and I, will you? We want to get out of here. I really don't see why they think it's necessary to go for two points here. proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. You just hope that a game this uneven ends quietly. We don't want to see anything nasty and pointless at the end. Nice run up the middle. McClellan gets about four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 50. They'll bring him down at the 49. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And they get nice yardage on that run. is winning big. Nice run there. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Alabama 53, Middle Tennessee State 7. And the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.